Paramore is one of those bands we all know. They had a major breakthrough with their albums Riot and Brand New Eyes. Even though they sadly got put back a bit in their fame, these songs absolutely rock and are always a joy to play. But it wasn't until their album Brand New Eyes and their song Brick by Boring Brick that they really got my attention. So that's why I picked this song for the eye opener series, because it wasn't until this song that they really caught my attention. What I really like about their music are their drums. Obviously. Zach Farrow writes these seemingly linear grooves, but with great twists to break the straightforward feeling. Paramore is a band from Franklin, Tennessee of the United States of America. They formed in 2004. Using the homophone Paramour, which means secret lover, Josh Farrow, Zach Farrow, Haley Williams, Jason Bynum and Jeremy Davis named their band Paramore. Their first album, All We Know Is Falling from 2005, isn't one that really got into the mainstream music scene, but they struck gold when they released their second album, Riot, in 2007. Their singles Crush 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 and Misery Business were to be found everywhere on the TV and on the radio. They had huge sales and even got nominated in the Grammys for Best New Artist in 2008. Their next album did just as great as the second one, but sadly in December 2010 both Zach Farrow, the drummer, and Josh Farrow, the guitarist, decided to leave the band. Josh stated that he felt the band was becoming a manufactured product of a major label. For me, there is an extreme style change after the departure of the brothers Farrow. For me, it got more popish instead of the alternative rock style they got famous for. Their success wasn't at an end though, because with their next self-titled album, they got their first Grammy win for best rock song with their song Ain't It Fun. In total, Paramore has won 26 awards and got nominated for awards 63 times. Which is, if I say so myself, pretty damn impressive. As is with much other bands, during their career, Paramore had trouble finding their lineup. Jeremy Davis on bass early on left the band for five months due to personal reasons, but eventually stayed until December 2015. It was around this time he got involved in a legal battle with Paramore, which was a reason for him to leave the band. Jason Bynum on guitar left the band after their first album and got replaced by Hunter Lamp, who also left the band after their second album. From this point, Taylor York took place as a rhythm guitarist and is still with the band to this very day. He even combined both drums and guitar at the moment Zach Ferrier left in 2010. For the recording of their next self-titled album, Elon Rubin was put in as a session drummer. He is known for his work with the band Lost Prophets and is currently drummer in both Angels and Airwaves and Nine Inch Nails. This means that Zach Farrow never really got replaced by a new drummer. He even returned to the band for writing and recording their next album. And this is news I just found out while writing this script. And I'm really, really excited for it. I can't wait until their release and the new drum work done by Zach Farrow. Merely two days after the departure of Paramore, Zach Farrow took part in a new band called Tunnel. They soon had to change their name to Half Noise due to the fact that there already was a band called Tunnel. The band features himself on drums and vocals, and Jason Clark on guitar and vocals. In 2012 they released their first self-titled EP. Shortly after the release of this EP, Half Noise became a solo project of Zach Farrow himself. And after the departure of Clark, Zach Farrow released two more full-length albums. His brother Josh formed a new band in 2011 called Novel American. After the departure of that drummer, Zach filled his place. Sadly, because they couldn't find a suitable vocalist, the band quit in 2014. As I said, Zach is currently back with Paramore while still working on his solo project. I'm really looking forward to Paramore's new material. Slightly hoping they go back to their alternative rock style, but I guess we'll have to wait for now. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you want to know what my project on YouTube is all about, be sure to check my introduction video. As this is the last song I recorded in my first studio session, I can't really announce what my next song will be. Though I have a lot of ideas and currently am in the process of writing and studying these parts. The idea is that I'll be back in the studio at the end of April, so there won't be any new drum covers until then. I'm also planning to do some more vlogs, so stay tuned for that as well. Hit the subscribe button, the like button and the bell if you want to support my page. If you want, you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, where I'll be posting more frequent updates like teasers, me playing drum parts, whatever will happen. If you have any comments, be sure to post them in the comment section. I'll try to check on them from time to time. And if you have anything to say to me personally, you can always send me a mail to my email address, which will also be in the information box. 
Also, if you want to know my team, their links and social media are down below in the information box as well. Feel free to give them a shout out from me. I have a lot of ideas for this channel, so I hope to see you back with a vlog of mine or my next set of drum covers. Until then, cheers.